Hello everyone, Susie Gaming here and welcome back to Flight Simulator. Today I'm gonna test out the brand new Ornithopter from the Dune movie. And now we're at the random airstrip in Egypt. I believe we're close to the pyramids. So let's go and visit them. Beautiful design based from the Dragonfly. Developers actually fully modeled the interior. So it's completely functional. We even have closing opening doors, lights, and every button here is functional even the pedals so yeah let's quickly start the engine turn the lights there you go then close the doors right door is closed now we're gonna unfold the wings Let's fold them to see the reverse animation. Beautiful. There you go. And now we're at the compact mode. Okay, now let's actually take off. Let's start the engine. Full throttle. Gear up. And we're ready. Where's the pyramids? Oh, there they are, right behind us. Okay. Let's go. This thing also has boosters. It can dive to gain additional speed. Let's do a barrel roll. Through the maneuverable. And here we are. The pyramids. Oh. Now there should be a sphinx here somewhere. There it is. Let's try to land on it. Oh. Apparently you cannot land. Oh. <laughs> that looks kind of adorable. <laughs> The kitty holding me with its paws. So yeah. These were the pyramids of Giza. So if they told me Egyptians were using Ornithopters as transportation, I would have believed that. That's crazy architecture there.
It's landable. We can slide on it. Whoa. Cool. Oh, there is more pyramids there. Let's check them out. Alright, here is a red pyramid. Didn't even know it existed. And there is a few more pyramids there. I think two of them. Here is one. Damn, next to the highway. Cool. And here is another... With a weird shape. What happened to you? That's a weird looking pyramid. What the heck? Whoa, some FPS trap, but holy moly. And yeah, that's some F top pyramid there. Cool. Thought there was only like three pyramids. So yeah, this is the map of the flight simulator. All of you somewhere here, guys. Hi. So yeah, I can just fly to your house. Imagine using this map in every game, like first person shooters, military games, survival games even, maybe zombie games, post-apocalyptic. Probably that's the future. Now let's end the video by landing on top of the Everest. Let that be our last objective in this video. That should be Everest. Who knows? Oh, Mount Everest. Memorial? What the hell? Oh, hell no. Camp 2. Anyways, let's try to climb it. That's an awesome view. Holy smokes. Love it. Okay. Is that the Mount Everest? I have zero clue. Let's find out. people died at the spot I think we already reached the top that should be the top of it Even with the ornicopter, I'm already tired. How in the hell people climbing this? God damn. Good spot for landing, I guess. Yes, <laughs> I think I did it. Yep, <laughs> the peak, <sighs> the fresh mountain, the oxygen. Guys, I have zero clue if I'm even at the uh, Mount Everest. I'm not even at Mount Everest. So Mount Everest directly at the left side of me.
Yep, this is the Mount Everest. Insane. I can't climb on top of it because apparently this vehicle cannot climb to that altitude, which is weird. All right, guys, that was it. I hope you enjoyed my little world tour. They really nailed the controls. Really satisfying to fly this thing. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.